Moths. Has anyone heard this word before? Well, I see only a few hands. I'm not surprised, because it's a very young field in chemistry of around 20 years, yet with so much potential that the next Nobel Prize in chemistry is expected to be dedicated to moths. Well, probably not to me yet, but I'm also already waiting for a phone call. But what are moths? Metal organic frameworks, or moths for short. As you can see, moths are made by assembling metal nodes connected with organic linkers, creating fascinating crystalline structures. By changing these metal nodes and organic linkers, chemists can create thousands of different structures with variety of properties. One of the main properties of moths is that they are the most porous material known to date. Only one gram of moth can have a surface area as large as a football field. It's on this surface area where the molecules can be absorbed and chemical reactions can happen. This gives moths the power to act as a sponge to capture pollution from air and water, a catalyst for chemical reactions, a carrier for drug inside your body, a sensor, and the list goes on. But despite this huge potential, why no one has heard of them? Why they haven't found their way to the market yet? One of the reasons is that moths are crystalline powders, and working with powders, especially in large-scale industry, can be awfully messy. And uh, these, uh, these powders and uh, processing them, in the case of moths, often face challenges like collapsing their structures or loss of their properties. So as a chemical engineer, my question is that, what can I do? During my thesis, I've been working on developing composite systems that can not only preserve the interesting properties of these crystals, but also improve their performance for real industrial systems. Uh, for this, I've been developing these composite capsules that can hold these beautiful crystals intact. The interesting part is that we can make these capsules in a very easy and cheap way. We can make them uh, in any size or shape, and we can load them with any chosen moth without affecting the interesting properties of the crystals making them now practical for real industrial applications. So, today might be the first time that you heard the word moths, but you better remember it, because if I do a good job, before you know it, they will be an inseparable part of our lives. The air you breathe, the water you drink, can be cleaned by moths. Or you may have moths in the tank of the car you drive, without even knowing it. Thank you. <laughs>